Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to focus on the rebuild and restoration of the front forks of the Left for Dead CBX that uh, we're restoring. Um, so to start off, uh, here are all the parts and pieces laid out for a typical front fork system for a 79 CBX. The 80 is slightly different, 81, 82 are uh, slightly different, but this is for the uh, 79. But basically, they're pretty much all the same as far as the uh, rebuild is concerned. But uh, these, uh, this picture here shows the uh, fork tubes or the fork bodies. Uh, I've already uh, painted them and restored them, but I'll go through the process of doing that during this video. So... As you can see, they look really nice. They're, they look brand new again. Uh, the fork tubes are all polished up and, and, uh, and restored. Uh, they were pretty, they had quite a bit of uh, rust, surface rust on them. And again, I'll go through all that to show you uh, how to bring everything back to looking like new again. So to start off, uh, I polished the, uh, the fork tubes with the... Um, with Turtle Wax Chrome Polish. Uh, used to be made by DuPont. Uh, used to be called DuPont Chrome Polish, but now uh, Turtle Wax bought them out, and now it's Turtle Wax uh, Chrome Polish. But any kind of a good chrome polish will work. So the first thing that you do is you have to take the forks completely apart, especially when they're in the condition that these were in. Uh, these were pretty rough. Uh, they were all corroded and and just really one of the ugliest pair that I've seen. But anyway, you start off by taking off the top cap, and uh, then you'll pull the spring out or or go ahead and turn it upside down and empty out uh, the fork oil. Sometimes it's better to pull the spring out first before you empty the fork oil. And then, and then uh, turn it upside down and kind of pump it a few times. Make sure you get all the oil out of there. And then at the bottom of the forks, there's, a, there's an Allen bolt uh, that you have to pull off. There it is there. And it's got a, uh, uh, a brass washer on it. And then you pull the body off the fork tube. And at the bottom of the uh, thing is called a, uh, Honda, Honda calls it a lower seat, but it's basically part of the shock absorber system. As you can see, the fork tubes were really corroded, really rusty, but not not uh, bad enough to where not, they're not salvageable. So again, I take the uh, chrome polish and I just polish them up. It's a kind of a long, tedious job, depending on how much corrosion there is. Uh, these were pretty bad, so it took me, you know, a little while to get them to get them looking like new again. And as you can see, the result is pretty satisfying. Now there's a few little pits here and there, but again. Fork tubes for these bikes are pretty expensive and difficult to find, actually. So if you can salvage the, the tubes, it's well worth it. Then I take the fork body, and I kind of clean it all up in the parts washer, and I got all the rust and corrosion out of there, as you can see. There was a lot of rust and corrosion uh, the clips that hold the, uh, the seal in were completely rusted away. 
There, there was nothing left of them. So once it's all cleaned out, then I take a, uh, a, a copper brush and some Scotch Brite, and I kind of clean up the area where the where the seal and the clip goes. Try to get that as clean as possible. Then I take the uh, wet sandpaper. And I just kind of lightly sand around on the inside there where the where the seal goes just to get the surface corrosion off. And it all depends on how corroded it is, if it's corroded. I mean, some fork tubes are, are uh, nice and clean inside. But again, this bike was pretty much left for dead for years up in the mountains, and it was pretty bad. So there was quite a bit of corrosion in there. And so I'm taking the 180 grit wet sandpaper here, and I'm kind of cleaning up the whole area inside there. And it actually came out pretty nice, nice and smooth and clean now. Then I take the fork body and again, I start wet sanding it, but I just do it lightly because uh, I start off brushing it first, get the, get the flaky corrosion off if there is any or any other dirt or corrosion that didn't come off in the parts cleaner. And these fork tubes have a, uh, on the 79 and 80 anyway, the fork tubes have a, a kind of a rough finish on them. And so when you go to wet sand them, you don't really want to wet sand them too much. You don't want to uh, rub off all that, all that, uh, kind of a gravelly rough finish on it. You just want to very lightly sand it to uh, smooth off any chips or, or uh, nicks or whatever that are in the surface. Let's kind of make sure that any contaminants are off of the tubes. And then one more wire brushing. And that's pretty much it. They're ready to paint. So then uh, it's probably a good idea to tape the areas up that you don't want to have paint on such as the uh, the studs, the threads, um, the threaded holes, and any other surface that things are going to be bolted up to. And you can just do a real quick tape job, kind of like what I'm doing here. It doesn't have to be perfect, especially since you're really just kind of fogging them with new black paint. Uh, semi-gloss, more of a matte finish with a ever so slight satin finish is the way they came from the factory. So then once that's all done and they're all painted, uh, then you go ahead and start putting everything back together again. And I get a, I get a, a socket that is about the same size as the seal. And then I take some uh, automatic transmission fluid and I rub the inside and coat the seal with, with the uh, ATF. Kind of push it in there by hand as far as you can. And then you can take your socket or whatever else, a pipe or whatever else you have that is roughly the same size as the seal. And you just tap it in there lightly with a rubber mallet until it's seated. And then you want to make sure the groove for the clip is exposed all the way around evenly. And you take your 
your uh, clip. Honda calls it the oil seal stopper ring. And they're still available from Honda. They're only three or four bucks or whatever, but I was I had some extra forks that I was able to get uh, new clips out of because, like I said, the clips that were in here were rusted completely away. Anyway, once you get all that together, then you can go ahead and slip the, the uh, restored tubes back in. And you want to make sure that that bottom part is all the way down so you can put the uh, Allen bolt back in. Then you tighten that Allen bolt back up. And then you put the dust, dust shield back on. Tapered in, pointing up. And it's a tight fit, so I usually just kind of tap it in with the rubber mallet again. Then you take your fork tube cap, and there's a little washer, a very thin washer that goes on there to protect the aluminum from the spring. And then put your new O-ring back on. And this is a little on the difficult side because you have to press down on the spring and get the thread started. You have to really press hard to get it started and try not to cross the threads. And that's it for the fork assembly. Then you just go and slip it back into the triple tree. And that's it. So uh, it, that's going to be it for this video. I got the forks all restored and rebuilt and back on the bike in place. So now we're ready to, uh, I'm going to, the next video I'm going to install the, uh, the center stand. And then at that point, I will reattach the frame to the engine. So on the next video, which I'll be posting here in the next day or two, I will be attaching the frame back onto the engine, and uh, that'll be pretty exciting. So uh, thank you for watching, and again, please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps support the channel, and I really appreciate you uh, watching. Thank you.